everyone and welcome to a new episode of Crafting with Cosplay Fabrics. My name is Indra and today I'm going to show you how to modify a pre-made foam sword into a really cool prop. So as you can see I'm using this old beat up foam sword that I had as a base and uh, what you want to start with is just kind of prepping it as your main base. So that means making any cuts or adjustments. The tip was a little bit um, beat up so I went ahead and cut it and then I smoothed everything out by sanding it. And just take your time so that you really prep this and then you can really embellish it. Uh, for this particular sword, you can actually take the whole thing apart. Um, I understand that some foam swords aren't like this. So just basically cut out anything that you don't want until you have a clean base to work with. Once I was happy with my base, I went ahead and started to draft a pattern for what I wanted my sword to look like. This was just the base. So I just put a piece of paper down, put the sword over it, and just kind of sketched out what I wanted the main piece to look like. Once I was happy with it, cleaned it up, and then cut it out. Test out to see if you like the shape, and you can then uh, modify as you want. And then all I did was just transfer that onto 10 millimeter EVA foam and cut it out. Then I cleaned those pieces up and I used really coarse grit sandpaper and worked my way up to really fine grit until it was really smoothed out foam pieces. Once I liked how it looked, then I went ahead and used contact cement to glue that on. And make sure that when you're doing this, that the pieces are dry before you adhere everything together. I tried really hard to keep everything uh, as centered and aligned as possible because they were mirrored pieces. So make sure to take your time when you're doing this part. Once I was happy with it, I made sure to check both sides and then I went ahead and started sculpting on top of the piece. I just used foam clay and I worked little by little. As you can see, I started with one clean base of the foam clay and then I started to create details over it, like in layers. And I used the back of a paintbrush to kind of make details since I didn't have specific clay tools. So that's why I love working with this. It's super easy to kind of use whatever you have and you just reactivate as you're working uh, the foam clay with a little bit of water and add details as you see fit. And as you can see here, I was just kind of putting some water, pushing the clay down and adding little details as I go. Once you're happy with your design, then you can go ahead and do the same design on the other side. And what I did to kind of keep the uh, design from getting squished as I worked on the other side is I tried to keep it propped up with this little paint can and you want to be careful that way you're not like squishing it down and then you can add as many details as you want I try to add one more little detail to like the pummel piece of the sword and that way it looked really really complete so at this point add any extra details or just leave it as is and let it dry. Once you are uh, letting this completely dry, then you can go ahead and sand, seal, and paint. And that is it. I hope you like this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you soon for another tip trick or tutorial featuring cosplay fabrics. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.